So, does testosterone naturally decline with age? Well, the answer to that question, with the risk of a little bit of confirmation bias, at least in regard to current studies, is a solid no. Testosterone levels do not decline due to age. So, what does cause testosterone levels to decline? A lot of environmental factors, chemicals, obesity, medications, or I should say, there's a ton of endocrine disruptors out there, which you can easily discover just by punching into a Google search. But let's go right into the study. Study parameters, or we're gonna go through three citations, which I'll go read as we flip through them. Known study parameters, all abstracts are available, so it's easy for you to research on your own. Study models, all were done in humans, ranging from 16 weeks to five years. Dosage not required, most more observational, except for one, which I want to highlight, which showed an anti-estrogenic uh, medication in comparison to actually a testosterone gel. The results, for that, results from that study were actually quite surprising and relevant to what we're bringing up here. Raw materials, not relevant. Results, as we said before, unequivocal no in regard to testosterone levels declining naturally due to age. So, study number one. Older age does not cause testosterone levels to decline in healthy men. Results presented at the June 6th at the Endocrine Society's 93rd annual meeting in Boston in 2011. Two studies in Australia recruited 325 men over the age of 40, median age, median age of 60, who had self-reported excellent health and no symptoms of complaints. So we have originally, this is kind of interesting because it was a surprise to the researchers themselves, as it is to many of us. We had originally expected age to have an effect on serum testosterone, so the findings were a bit of a surprise. Their quote, obesity caused a mild and clinically unimportant lowering of blood testosterone levels, the investigators reported. However, in their words, age had no effect on testosterone level. For the sake of time, let's go right into study number two. Declining testosterone levels in men not part of normal aging. Study finds, you'll see the citations there at the same time. June 25th at the Endocrine Society's 94th annual meeting in 2012. Authors analyzed testosterone measurements in more than 1,500 men, I believe it was 1588 to be exact, who had measurements taken at two clinic visits five years apart. All blood testosterone samples into one testing at the same time for each time point. Researchers excluded from analysis men who had abnormal lab values, da, 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 you were called outliers, taking medications, or had medical conditions known to affect hormones. They included 1,382 men for the data analysis, and the ranges of age was between 35 to 80, with a, an average age of 54. Just want to bring it up so you know it's a large study. Declining testosterone levels, this is their conclusion. Declining testosterone levels are not an inevitable part of aging as many people think. Testosterone changes are largely explained by smoking, behavior, and changes in health status, particularly obesity and depression. So a confirmation from the first study from 2000 level, 2011, followed up in 2012 by the Endocrine Society, confirmed the information that testosterone levels do not decline with age. Now the third one's relevant here, even though it had to do with the medication. And the study was entitled, Restoring Testosterone Rather Than Replacing It Health Safeguards a Man's Fertility. What they found out between using an estrogen agonist, uh, antagonist and uh, actually exogenous testosterone therapy is that restoring natural testosterone levels was far more effective in regard to the health, especially the fertility of men, than actually taking testosterone and adding it as a cream, lotion, whatever, to the body itself. So by blocking estrogens, which is inter interesting because a lot of chemicals in the environment are endocrine receptors, which happen to be estrogenic in the behavior. So that's probably why they found a great resource in regard to blocking the estrogen itself or agonist of the estrogen. Conclusion from the studies and many other studies to follow. Declining testosterone levels may be due to a number of factors, but aging is not one of them, as well as many of those external factors can be fixed or avoided. I'll give you an example. Here's one of my favorite study in regard to phthalates, which basically if you look had how dangerous a lot of these environmental chemicals are, they have a dramatic impact at a very early stage of life of causing the testosterone levels to plummet. These are the factors why testosterone levels tend to be declining dramatically over the past 20 years, especially here in the United States. So what to take from it? 
you may be able to control the factors that involve testosterone levels being maintained in your body without having to take testosterone therapy, just by being healthy, eating clean, and avoiding, if possible, a lot of nasty chemical things in the environment. However, testosterone levels, if they do decline, are not due to age alone, at least if these studies are confirmed once again in the future. So until now, or till then, we go by the studies which we have, which say aging and testosterone decline have no relationship with each other. Again, this is Ralph Turchiano signing off, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next seven days. Thank you very much.